Uh, hello guys, uh, I have this uh, washing machine, uh, it's a Samsung Diamond Drum, as, as you can see it's showing IE OE error, uh, so in some instances um, you just have to replace the pressure switch, uh, then it works, then uh, in some instances uh, even if you replace the pressure switch it still uh, will give you the same error uh, so today I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to repair the board um, if it keeps giving you this error okay so we're gonna have to undo the wiring uh, on this board as you can see each socket is different and it's color coded like you see there's white and red you just have to put it the way it is and all the other ones are different besides these two so you just have to press that tab then you pull up all of them press the tab and pull up just like that you don't necessarily have to take a picture because uh, uh, it's very easy to put back then uh, there's one two three four screws that you're gonna have to loosen uh, you can use a Phillips screw drive to loosen that okay I'm gonna show you again uh, the setup on this machine uh, uh, as you can see everything is connected the pressure switch is connected but you can still hear that beeping sound uh, the PC board is still making that same error IE or E um, I don't know if you can see that uh, hold on okay I'm gonna try to put to make it uh, darker here um, was the lighting is a bit too much uh, you can see that's an OE error IE but uh, as you can see uh, the pressure switch is connected to the machine so we are going to fix that so by means of a flat screwdriver we're gonna separate there is a top and the bottom so we're gonna have to separate that uh, you just need to push these tabs open up with a screwdriver you keep it then you go to the next one, push it, then you go to the last one on the row, and uh, on the side as well. And on the other side. There we go. So, um, um, apologies. This is where you're gonna put your your pressure switch socket. So this is uh, your pressure switch wires. Uh, as you can see, the color coding is exactly the same as the color coding you get here. Uh, you got uh, purple, orange, and pink, which is here. Pink, orange, and purple. You see here exactly the same color coding so this is your socket on the PC board it goes right here which means whatever parts that you need to fix are directly behind that socket so you're gonna have to cut behind behind this socket I normally use a grinder uh, but you need to be very careful with the grinder otherwise you damage the PC board or alternatively you can use uh, soldering iron so already I cut open I, I cut open with a grinder or you can just use a gun you just heat up right around straight behind the socket
after that you're gonna use a screwdriver to open up after you open you're gonna see the is this I see here uh, it's uh, one two three four five it's 16 legs that's uh, that's the one you have to replace so I'm not sure where you can get the replacement parts uh, you can visit your um, your parts shop in your area I don't know if it's possible to get it but I normally get it from a donor board um, for an example I'm gonna get it from this board right here so I'm gonna have to take that one out and put it on that one To do that, you're gonna have to use a rework station or uh, with a hot air gun. You cannot use a soldering iron to remove those big ices with uh, a lot of legs on them. Now you're gonna have to watch closely as I remove that part. You're gonna have to heat until that uh, soldering wire, until all uh, that soldering iron melts. Then, uh, with the use of the tweezer, you can just lift it up. Uh, when it's loose, you can just pick it up with the tweezer. Okay, now we're putting the replacement part. Okay, you're gonna have to press it until um, it hardens. Just to make sure that uh, all the legs are holding, I'm just gonna brush them up with the soldering iron.
okay as you can see we just replaced that IC now it's time to test it I'm done with the connection I'm gonna switch on uh, as you can see it's on start no more error uh, as you can hear this valve is open uh, to you can see that uh, IC we changed there we go there's no more error I'm gonna switch it off again switch on start there we go no more error okay uh, as you can see it doesn't give any error I'm gonna try and disconnect this pressure switch and see what's gonna happen here we go then start you see I'm gonna put it back that no error thank you for watching this video for today I uh, hope uh, this video is gonna help you uh, please subscribe to the channel like the video and don't forget to press the bell for a notification when I post another video. Thank you. Shock Stick signing out.